What is going on, everybody? I am Dope, your idiot leader, and we are back today with another crappy comic review. If you want a good comic review, go somewhere else. If you want an honest opinion, come here because I have no shame and no game. So what we're talking about today is not the White Lantern, not the Blue Lantern, not the Green Lantern. Well, it is the Green Lantern. Well, what kind of Green Lantern? The Dark Green Lantern. Because this is Green Lantern Dark. Green Lantern Dark. I was so excited about this. Never read a Green Lantern book in my life. But what better time for somebody that's never read Green Lantern to jump in than with a book about monsters and book about horror. That's what I love. This was a curious read. I didn't know if I was going to like it or not. But I really, really, really wanted to like it. I wanted to like it. I mean, come on, guys. Bring, bring it. You know what I'm saying? Let's just start out with the obvious. As soon as you open it up, you're going to recognize the artwork. Uh, the same guy that did Something's Killing the Children did the artwork in here. Uh, they went out and got the writer from uh, 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 what is a spinoff of Something's Killing the Children. Uh, whatever it is. And uh, Google it. I don't know everything, but I didn't even read it because Something's Killing the Children after about 20 issues just sucked. But anyway, there was a spinoff. And uh, the writer is from that, Something's Killing the Children spinoff. And the artwork is from Something's Killing the Children. You'll notice it right off the bat because that guy's got a weird style to him. You know what I mean? Uh, and it, uh, it looked just like Something's Killing the Children. And it felt like Something's Killing the Children after 20 issues. Not during the first 20 issues because the first 20 issues was good. This stuff was a snoozer. And I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not trying to knock it, but it did. I read this last night, sitting in my bed, and I fell asleep. I remember I was getting heavy. I was so excited about reading it when I first started. And then my emotional my emotional pathage just started going down, going down, going down as I was reading it. The eyes were getting heavier. I was shaking it off. I was fighting the power of Solomon Grundy. I'm staying awake. I'm reading. I'm, I'm seeing the light. I got to see. I got to have a true light like the Green Lantern. My light's got to be bright. Keep your eyes open, dope. Keep your eyes open. I'm keeping my eyes open, and I'm reading, and it becomes a struggle. It becomes a fight, but I make it through the whole book. I woke up this morning and didn't remember any of it, Harley. So you know what you got to do. You got to read it again. So this thing is very wordy. It's very thick. It, uh... Uh, House of Slaughter is the name of that other book that I never did read. Uh, for some reason, let's get back on that. For some reason, Erica Slaughter, I loved all that, and Tommy. But once Tommy died and he got arrested and Erica Slaughter got back on the bus and went to another town, that's when all shit went to shit. That's when shit went to shit, brother. I mean, that's when it got bad. Uh, they should have just quit right there. That's probably the original story of James Tyden, but James Tyden saw the dollar signs, and everything gets fucked up when money gets involved. You got something good like the Joker, makes big bucks, perfect movie. Let's come out with a Joker too and make it a musical, and put Lady Gaga in it, and just ruin it. That's what they do. Anything that makes money, they push it too far. And that's what they did with Something's Killing Children. Uh, that's why we got House of Slaughter. That totally sucked. That's why we got more Something's Killing the Children went out farther than it should. And that's why we got this book. Because DC said, hey, it's kind of brilliant in some ways. Let's, let's, let's capitalize on the only thing that Booms ever came out with worth a shit. And uh, let's get their best, or not really their best, but let's get their artists they're known for. And let's get one of their writers. And let's come up with our own Something's Killing the Children kind of thing. And I love this cover. I love this cover. I love the bowl cut. And this, I don't know Green Lantern. So I like having this girl as Green Lantern with a stick, with a stupid little stick with a lantern on it. Uh, some people might say, hey, that ain't my Green Lantern. I like old John Smith or uh, Billy Tovable. Well, I don't know Billy Tovable, and I don't know John Smith, and I don't know uh, uh, Curtis Kankrick. They're not my Green Lantern. This is my Green Lantern because it's the only one I know. So I kind of like it. Just You know, uh, I take it she exists already in the Green Lantern world. I don't know. 
But I take it she does. And if she don't, and she's the new Green Lantern, that's fine with me. A lot of people get mad whenever you turn Green Lantern into a girl, uh, I would guess, because uh, Green Lantern's an old classic character. But I don't care because it's not my Green Lantern. Just don't mess with Hulk and don't mess with, uh, you know, Ghost Rider. But you can mess with Green Lantern all you want. Because <laughs> after this, I'm probably never reading another Green Lantern again in my life. But anyway, this book here I paid... A whopping five ninety nine for, which ain't a lot of money, but after getting great comic books from Image for a lot less, it's hard. It's hard, man. And I like when you pay five ninety nine and then you turn the page and it's four ninety nine on this. So this is what you paid a dollar for. But anyway, but that is a lot better cover than that. One eyed, I don't even know what this is. This one even a made it. Inside, this wouldn't even be a splash page, more or less a cover in my book. But you know how them editors are at DC. They'll put out anything. So anyway, this book talks about darkness. It talks about the evil coming and evil prevailing over good. And the whole world is full of darkness and the whole world is full of monsters. And the only light in the whole universe is the lantern. Uh, it also represents the only good in the whole universe. And the lantern's here to protect all the people. But the problem is, wherever the light goes, evil is attracted to it. So everywhere the green lantern goes, these monsters come and kill everybody. Uh, so the best way she can save people is uh, run from populations she likes. And uh, as you can see, the artwork is just like something's killing the children. So uh, it's very something's killing the children feeling. And we got these people with the big eyes, just like Erica Slaughter. It reminds me of Erica Slaughter. Uh, we got this little girl that's, she kind of reminds me of Charlie in the Hulk book. She's so, all she wants to do is be Green Lantern. And she's going around this town just preaching Green Lantern stuff. And how Green Lantern's going to save us all. And Green Lantern's a hero. And all this crap. And, uh, you know, Green Lantern, she finally meets her hero, and her, lead, her hero, Green Lantern, tells her to get lost. That's what happens to me. It's happened to me many times. Don't ever meet your heroes, because your heroes are not as cool as you think they're going to be. You think you're going to be, you know, I, you know, you, you think you're just going to be best friends with Vincent Locke, which is my hero, which is uh, the artist of Dead World and does all the Cannibal Corpse covers. But you think you're going to meet Vincent Locke and he's going to give you a big hug and you're all going to go down to the Waffle House and you're going to eat uh, waffles at one in the morning and talk about Cannibal Corpse covers and talk about the one of the greatest comic books of all time, Dead World. And uh, Vincent Locke is going to do you a sketch on a... a, a a little uh, a napkin there that's at the Waffle House, and it's going to be a zombie, and you're going to get it framed, and it's going to be worth nineteen thousand dollars. And uh, if you meet Vincent Locke, it's probably not going to be like that. He's probably going to tell you go kick rocks, motherfucker. I'm Vincent Locke, and you ain't never heard of Dope Comics. Get the fuck out of here, Dope, you fucking loser. Go back to Dope Topia. That's probably what he's going to tell me. But we're getting off topic. This book, she tells that little girl. It looks just like Erica Slaughter, by the way. To go kick rocks. Because everywhere I go, everybody dies. I'm nobody's hero. I get people killed. I just got to defend myself. And since she was there, of course, all the monsters show up. And if you've read something's killing children, you know they don't know how to draw monsters. This artist has never drawn a good monster. And this don't look nothing like the monsters from something's killing children. But they're just as bad. The book's very wordy. It's very thick. There's a lot to read about nothing. And like I said, it puts you to sleep. There's a good picture of the monsters. Uh, this book will put you to sleep. And they're testing to see if you're a Green Lantern. I'm not a Green Lantern because I fell asleep. My, my light went out. I was snoring by 8.30. Uh, but if you can stay awake and you're excited by page 54 in this book, uh, you might have the Green Lantern skills. You could be the Green Lantern of today i don't know i can't believe i've talked 10 minutes about this shitty book already but i mean i've i've showed great comics pre-code horror comics and talked about them in three minutes i don't know why we're still talking about this 10 minutes in but this book here is trash it's warm dumpster juice is what it is this is the stuff in bottom of the trash this is the stuff that's in bottom of the dumpster uh 
Anyway, this girl kept believing, kept believing, kept believing this little girl. And she wouldn't let the lantern give up. And the lantern's trying to hold a force field to keep all the monsters back. And all of a sudden, this little girl's lantern starts glowing. She believed. There's power in believing in the world today. She believed. And she become the lantern. There's two lanterns in the world now. We just upped from one to two. There's two lights now in this whole dark world. Because she believed. There's power in belief. Power. So she believed in the lantern and she become a lantern. This is the origin's tale. This book's going to be worth thousands of dollars. Because this is the origin of some little blonde-headed new lantern. We now have two lanterns. We got one with a bow cut and no eyebrows. And we got one with blonde hair that's eight years old. Two lanterns. First appearance. Hit this shit. Oh, get you one. This is where it's at. Not really, but I guess if you're in the uh, spec. Get you one of these because this is the first appearance of the little blonde lantern. Little Blonde Lantern coming soon. Look forward on, uh, what is that thing people use? Comic Tron. I don't think it's called Comic Tron. There's a little app you can, key, app key, key apps, comic key, comic key R us, which Tom uses. Look on there, find this book. It's going to be worth a fortune. Until the next time we're under 12 minutes. Try to read good comics. Don't read this. I'm going to say CGC. Give me a. Give me a old 3.0 blue label because I did complete it and it is red. See you next time.